Now, my brother gave me these for Christmas this year, Christmas 2019. These are 3D printed stompers, but at 200% scale. Here's a regular stomper. This is a, uh, I believe this was made in the late 1980s is when I picked it up. Right, so here's one of the stompers. And we noticed that it's even got the little shield over the switch so that, you know, rocks and things don't turn the, turn the thing off. It happens anyway, though. The, it'll just drive along and all of a sudden just stop and that's because the rock has hit the switch and turned it off. We could put the switch the other way, but this is one of the hallmarks of the stomper is turning itself off because we're making a stomper here. So we'll take this thing apart. Now, on a regular stomper, you would pull on this, but this body is not flexible enough to do it. So we just pull back like that. And this little guy here would normally be cemented in here, but we just keep it loose. So this is our let's say a Jeep Eagle body. And inside here, we've got the little hole where a light bulb would be. It looks like a perfect size for a five millimeter LED. And then we've got do not remove here, which wasn't necessary, but that's what stompers are. So we're gonna open this thing up. We're gonna open it up. There we go. Now we've got these lithium ion batteries. Now we can actually hold three of them in here. But to make it the proper stomper speed, we actually have a little spacer that's also been 3D printed. But you could put three batteries in there and have it go 50% faster. So we'll take these out. And then just like a regular stomper, you can pull up on these little guys and pop this open. Pop this open and look at it. And we've got a, a modern motor with some 3D printed pinions and worms. So you can see how a stomper works is we, this, this gear turns, that turns that worm gear, and it turns that gear on the axle. And so these things are immensely strong. You, the way worm gears work is you can't turn them this way. You can only turn them this way with the motor, and that's what makes them move. So these were 3D printed and put around a steel axle, so they're fairly strong. The rest of the stuff in here, we can see we've got some wires that were hot glued in place. Works pretty good. We've got some steel axles. And then the wheels themselves instead of using another kind of material for the tires, these are just been printed with this little hexagon so they'll flex. So you can pull this ring off. And slide the tire right off. There we go. So you could actually, um, you know, replace the tire with something if you really wanted to. Now, these actually slip. But... We want that because if it slips here or if it slips on that motor, that means it's less likely to slip here. All the torque is coming through these gears right here and we don't want these slipping. If we can have it slip someplace else first, then we don't worry about this. So yeah, we could make um, a rectangular axle and have a, a and have a square hole in this thing and it wouldn't slip and we could put a little keyway in the tire and the rim so that they wouldn't slip but then you'd have a problem over here so let's put this thing back together
Thank you for watching this video with me. I just did this because I thought this was a fabulous present I got from my brother and I wanted to show off his uh, 3D printing ability. And uh, I will see you with some other unrelated video later.